trying to figure out how to feed these peanuts without putting no hay in them. Oh, that's a good one. So we're taking all our strippers out. We'll still get some hay in there. Now we're going to take the retention board out. strippers are a row of stationary teeth. The more those strippers you turn in to the cylinders, the rotating cylinders, the more peanuts you're gonna pick off. However, you're gonna break your hay up finer. And if you break your hay up finer, you're gonna stick the hay up in the basket with the peanuts. We don't want that. So we're trying to, we got all the strippers out all the way, but we're still putting the hay in the basket. So we gotta let the retention board down, which is what we just did, let more material flow out the back We've already pulled the tailboards down some. We gotta get more material out the back, but we it's a bouncing act. You can't get it too wide open on the back or you'll start seeing peanuts on the ground down here. That's a good peanut. That ain't a pop. That's a good one. That's a good nut there. That's a pop. That's supposed to blow out the back. That's a good one. That's a good one. So we're fighting. Fighting a little bit of uh, changing conditions out here. Late season peanut harvest. This is what we're looking like in the dump cart. We got a few, got one shelled here. Every now and then, we don't want them shelled coming out of picker. If you got them shelled, that means you got too too aggressive of a of a setting. However, we've taken everything out, so that means peanuts are dry. Peanuts get too dry, they start shelling. So always up here looking and inspecting, seeing how they get doing. We're walking behind the pickers, making fine adjustments, seeing what's on the ground, what's coming out the back. We don't want a bunch of hay up here. So Peanuts just ain't got brittle, man. It's late season, they ain't got old, getting a little tough to pick. start loading our seventh drying van of the day seventh 18 wheeler you can see the dust on them pickers is still moving we got a good breeze out of that dust still peeling off but the sun's getting low when that sun touches them trees that dust ain't gonna move no more that dust is gonna hang it's gonna sit right there when it comes out the back of that picker it's gonna sit there like an early morning fog it's gonna fog everything out it's going to make the and this, the reason it's going to be doing that is because the humidity is going to be a little bit different when the sun touches trees the humidity is going to raise up it's going to make these vines tough and as soon as that dust quits moving that dust starts hanging it's going to be time to shut her down but i think we can finish this this trailer we're going to be able to get it it's going to be tight it's going to be a little bit dark it's going to be a little bit dark when we get it done but we're going to we're going to get this last trailer loaded and we're going to have ourselves a heck of a day good day day seven 718 wheelers for our little operation that, that's a pretty good day yeah. 
sun done hit the trees now. We're getting the old peanut field sunset and out of dust fits to hang on us. We're going to call it a day. We had a pretty good day today though. Got a lot of trucks loaded, got some peanuts picked. They're pretty clean for the most part. Got the hay out of it toward the end there, but we got a little ways to go still. We still got about 100 acres of peanuts in the dirt, got to be inverted. So we got one more day of picking here, then they'll start back inverting. Give it about three days we're picking them. So this time next week, peanut season will be a wrap. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time.